right guys, so today we're working on a 2013 Audi A8 4.0 twin turbo. Uh, we're gonna go over service for rear rotors and pads, brakes. Um, now, on the rears on this car, it does have an electronic parking brake. So, uh, if you wanna be able to do this job, you're gonna need a proper scan tool to be able to release the caliper. Um, that's the first step. First thing you do is you're going to put the car in a service mode and you're going to release the electronic parking brake so that you can work on it because there's a, a the piston needs to retract so you can remove the caliper. Um, uh, so the next step is you're going to remove this pad sensor. So this is the pad wear sensor. So we're gonna have to disconnect that first before we can remove the caliper. So you just pop that up and then, and the way Audi does these connectors, you gotta pry up on this tab and then rotate it. Okay. Once you pull that out, just has a little locking tab on it. You press that and pull it out. Now that that's disconnected, you're going to take your two caliper retaining bolts out. Uh, this has already been loosened for demonstration, so obviously we use a tool, but there's two of these caliper retaining bolts, one on the top, one on the bottom. You're going to remove those, then you can take your caliper off, place that to the side. Next, you'll pull your sensor out. On this job, we're gonna be replacing them, so just get rid of them. Next, you're gonna pop your brake pads out. And then on the back, there's two more bolts that retain caliper bracket these guys and these bolts are, are Audi specific they're called triple squares it's a special socket it's a it's basically three squares so it's a, it's a 12 point socket so you're gonna need to make sure you have the right socket for that all right so once you take that off you just check to make sure your pistons are sliding nice and smooth you can re-grease those when you put it back together You'll clean up your pad mounting points with the wire brush. Next, you're going to remove the star bolt holding the caliper on. Uh, this is an impact socket. So you hit it with a hammer and it counter rotates the screw for you to get it out. Because when, when this originally was in there, it was in there pretty good. So you, you want to use one of these to get it off. So you remove that screw. and then take the caliper off. All right, and then once that's done, now, again, hopefully you've put the caliper into service mode. So, again, this caliper is electronically actuated. Here's the connector for it. There's a little stepper motor inside of here that, because this has an electronic parking brake, all that means is when you, when you push a button inside of the car, the computer collapses and, and squeezes the brake pads. So we need to release the stepper motor piston inside, it's inside of this piston. So once you, once you put the caliper into service mode, you can then use a C-clamp to collapse the piston all the way in just like this. And I've already collapsed this piston, so I can't do it on video, but you know, before it was all the way out here. So you're gonna use a C-clamp and collapse the piston all the way in. And that's pretty much it. Everything else from there is just the reverse. You put it back together. Uh, make sure you clean up the surface area of your new rotor with brake cleaner. Uh, and I guess I'll show you guys the proper grease points on the caliper brackets next. All right, so these are the OEM brake pad kit. Comes with the new bolts with new Loctite. New brake pad mounting points. 
and new sensors. So after you clean this up, well, first let's start with a, a, a kind of un, underlooked uh, point. So when the, when the rotor goes onto the hub, if you have any oxidation or rust underneath here, that can cause the face of the rotor to be at an off angle, which can cause vibration. So it's very important that you wire brush the area, this area of the hub, to get rid of all of the high points. Uh, and you know, if it's really rusted out really badly, you're gonna have to really work on it. Uh, that's the number one step. So you gotta clean that up. Uh, next, the grease points are here where the pad sits. So you're gonna grease here. It doesn't need to be a lot, just a little. And then you can pull these guys out. What you can do is just wipe it down. And this is just, uh, it's called Silglide. It's a special brake lubricant. for this one. So basically this, this grease needs to go on any component that is doing any kind of sliding. So the brake pads need to be able to slide in and out. These pistons, these pins, need to be able to slide in and out as well. So we just clean them up, put new lube, other than that, that's pretty much everything. Uh, just put everything back together in the reverse of how it came apart. Thanks, guys.